Welcome to the Carnival Pride. We're gonna take a look at this entire ship from the top down. And I like to start at the very top. We're on deck 12. And there's a sun deck up here. Also the funnel, which inside is the steakhouse we'll see later. All right, we're gonna head down to deck 11. This is where you're gonna find all of the slides in the back of the ship. All right, we're gonna head down to deck 10. This is where you're gonna find a lot of different loungers along the side. What's interesting is that they have turf or carpet alongside parts of the ship. And this is on both sides. And we're gonna to head to the front of the ship on deck 10. It overlooks the pool. There's a great view up here, and then the walkway goes all the way around the front of the ship back to the main pool. And we're actually gonna head up the stairs back to deck 11. And this is where you're gonna find the mini golf course and of course the sports court. All right, back on deck 10, we're gonna head to deck nine and check out inside the spa and fitness center. Inside the spa, they have a barber shop and salon and multiple treatment rooms, plus a sauna and steam room in each of the locker rooms. And this gym is pretty unique. It's on two different levels, and there is a hot tub in this fitness center, which is pretty interesting. And tucked away on deck nine is also the teen club. And back outside, we're on deck nine. This is the forward pool, and there are two pool areas. This one actually has some nice seating with couches and also the hot tub. Well, normally you have one main large pool area. This one's split by a wall and the bars are on this side of the pool area. There is another pool over here. And back in this corner is Guy's Burgers. There's a stage back here also that is quite large. And this pool has a retractable roof too, which is really nice if you get some bad weather.
on the other side is the Blue Iguana Cantina. You can get your tacos and burritos. From the pool area, we're gonna head inside on deck nine, and this is the mermaid grill. Essentially, this is a buffet. There's a lot of seating here, which is really nice, and they have some unique mermaid decor. Right in the middle, you can't miss these glass stairs that go up to the steakhouse, so let's take a peek. There's a red tint in this room because you're under the funnel, which is glass windows tinted red all the way up. All right, and we're gonna head back down to deck nine to the Mermaid Grill once more. They have a really nice deli here, pre-made sandwiches in the deli, and they put them in the toaster oven. Very delicious um, and very handy. Pretty quick service here. Also, they have a coffee shop and a pizza window. I actually really like the decor in here. The mermaids on the ceiling and the splashes and the floor to ceiling windows, it really is a nice place. Very comfortable. All right, and we're gonna head back to the Serenity deck, which is the adults only area with a pool and hot tub and a bar and plenty of places to sit or lounge. decks eight to seven six and part of five are basically cabins so we're gonna head to deck four this is where you're gonna find the kids clubs also on deck four is the top level of the theater and this is a really nice theater. I actually think it looks decent and looks nice. There's good views from most places that you can sit. And the main floor of the theater is deck two. Let's just take a quick peek at this as well. Really nice. And heading down to deck three, we're starting in the main dining room. This is the second level of the dining room and a very pretty view of the lower level, deck two. Let's check out deck two as well. Coming from the restaurant, we're actually gonna head outside and there is a walkway around the ship on this deck. There aren't any chairs or benches, but it is a really nice place to catch a breeze and just to be outside near the ocean. So let's just take a quick peek. It goes all the way around to the back of the ship.
and right where we left off inside, we're gonna head from the main dining room on deck three to Raphael Lounge. And there's not a lot that happens in this lounge that I noticed. I know they do like the Dr. Seuss or some specialty kind of things here, but it's actually a really quiet and nice area. I like that they have a grand piano, so they probably do have some special events here. Down the hallway from Raphael Lounge is the photo gallery, and here's where you can buy picture frames and get photos taken. There's a nice view of the atrium from up here as well, and I can't wait to show you more of the atrium. But first, we're gonna head over to the shops. And of course, they have hallway sales. You'll find that throughout the week various different things and a hallway of the actual shop. So you have your fancy things and your carnival store with all the merchandise all along this whole walkway. Coming from the shops, we're actually going to head into the piano bar, which is right here on the left hand side. I actually really like this piano bar. It's big. There's a lot of seats. There's a huge bar. Let's take a look. Right outside the piano bar to the left is a really ornate staircase with sculptures and it's just really pretty. There's also seating right outside of the piano bar that goes, it seems like for miles and miles all the way down this whole hallway. At the end of this hallway is the theater and to the right of the theater you can go into what they call the secret garden and it's just a walkway with chairs and trees and windows it's actually pretty neat but it goes all the way around the, the front of the ship it's relatively a quiet place to sit unless there's something going on in the theater because you'll hear it here but we're gonna head out of the secret garden and we're gonna head into the warehouse which is the arcade All right, heading down to deck two, we're gonna start from the theater, and right away, you're gonna notice a little room to the left, which is the card room. Essentially, it's the library. From the library, there is a large lounge. They do often have trivia here or some certain games, but also that they have a lot of seating and it's quite large. There's a piano in here and right across the way is the coffee shop.
right next door to the coffee shop is the Red Frog Pub. This is a fun little spot. They have karaoke in here at nights and there's a stage where they can have live music. There's lots of seating, of course, bar games and some good drinks. Leaving the Red Frog Pub, we're going to head into the Skybox, which is the sports bar. From the sports bar, there is a small little internet cafe on the wall right before we get to the casino. And of course, the casino it is actually quite a large casino. They have a really nice bar and a lot of different slot games. I feel like they have some newer games here, so really nice place. On the other side of the casino is the atrium, and I was actually quite impressed with this atrium. Kind of reminds me of a building from the outside. You're seeing the windows and there's some ornate decorations, but really very pretty and not too overly decorated, I felt very comfortable. And of course they have guest services and shore excursions down on this level. And a secret hallway to the casino. There's also a bonsai sushi on deck too, right next to the atrium. And from the atrium, we're gonna head down the hallway to the Alchemy Bar. This is probably one of the largest Alchemy Bars I've seen. They have a lot of bar space and a stage and great seating. And right here on deck two, they also have the Captain's Club, which is a special dining room. Also, the Dance Club is on this level as well. There is uh, some interesting decor in here, so I, I took a nice look around. They also have a lower level, so you take the stairs down. You have to enter on this level, but then you can take the stairs down. Right now, they actually had the chef's table set up down there, but I wanted to take a look anyways. All right, and we're gonna head down to deck one at the front of the ship to the Butterfly Lounge. And this is where they do the comedy. It's really fun. I love this little sculpture that they have down the stairs, but let's go take a look at the Butterfly Room.
And lastly, we're going to take a look at a balcony room. I do actually think there is a lot of storage in here. I wish they had USB charge plugs by the bed. But there is one outlet on the desk and you can plug in your strip there to plug in your multiple devices. And that will do it for my tour today of the Carnival Pride. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you soon.